Okay, Cancer. This is going to be interesting. Right away, you're starting out um, in your own energy. And it's like in each section, your own energy is the first card. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So each one starts with you and how you feel and your emotions and what it, what you want. <laughs> and there are things going on behind each section. But you're like right up front. Like sort of like, you know, well, me first. I'm just going to do me first. <laughs> this is how I feel. And this is what's important right now. And I know that life doesn't always go that way we can't always you know do everything according to exactly what we want to do regardless of how anybody feels but i can't help but giggle because i feel really i feel really upbeat and kind of you know happy <laughs> okay nine of cups you're getting you'll be getting some wish fulfillment plenty of wishes fulfilled um just really enjoying yourself um doing you and you might kind of rub somebody's nose in it you, because you may feel like you know what i haven't felt this way in a long time and i deserve to feel this way and i'm just not going to apologize about the way i feel right now i'm not going to apologize about having all of this happiness and success and attention and whatever it is your heart desires because this is like wish fulfillment your cup runneth over however there's some heartbreak right here heartbreak heartache somebody's not feeling good and there's strong air sign energy around you each card on the end of your energy is air sign energy so you have air sign air sign air sign this could be an air sign okay with the heartache and the king the the three of the three of swords and the king of swords or it just could be someone with air sign energy air sign in their chart or just the way you know their energy in terms of the way that they communicate and how they're thinking and feeling at the moment in february somebody's going to be heartbroken somebody may even be going through some issues with the heart or or an organ and that's going to be from some but for somebody this may be internal issues that you need, may need doctor care for or surgery for that's going to be for somebody but it's like it feels like you're going into this with a positive attitude or maybe you know some of you want to be careful to not overdo something not overdo food or not overdo drinking or you know any substances that you may use not overdo something that that gives you this wish fulfillment that that puts you in this this sense of um euphoria where you're just like you you are so so um above another plane of just like where your feet are not like on the ground that euphoric feeling it's like a, i can't really explain it but that feeling of just floating so high that you're not even connected to everything else around you you don't want to do that you don't want to lose touch if this is those of you who may be having health trouble you may want to um be careful of this okay careful not to overdo it some of you may know already know that you may have some sort of uh pending procedure that may that may be done because you have the three of swords here and the king of swords the king of swords can be like a physician <clears throat> pardon me this can be like medical care or something legal that you may be going through but if this is related to medicine and it's like the strongest energy that's up here right now is someone's health. So you may want to be careful with this. Be care very careful with your health in the, in the month of February. Okay. Some of you, this may be like a legal issue that you may be going through. But in the meantime, it's like, okay, well, 
I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to worry about the consequences or what's going to happen. I'm just going to live for today and be happy right here, right now. I can't worry about tomorrow. I can't worry about next week. It's going to be what it's going to be. I can't control that. I can't change that. It's already in the process. I'm hearing that somebody saying it's already in the process. What it, What's in the process? I don't know. But I'm like hearing that it's already in the process. Can't change it because it's already in the process. So it's like somebody feels like might as well enjoy my time now. Just enjoy myself right now. For some of you, this may be re relating to uh, uh, some sort of relationship you have with somebody. Maybe somebody's heartbroken and wants some sort of truth about all of this fun and frolic that you're having with the Nine of Cups. You're living it up right here. And <clears throat> maybe this person wants the truth about it because they think that they may feel like, okay, well, you're not living it up. You're just being, you know, you just being a glutton. Because the nine of uh, the nine of cups can be someone who uses abuses substances or alcohol or like food or something, who has like abusive habits, a glutton, overindulgent in something. This person, this King of Swords, you know, maybe heartbroken and want to know the truth about something that you're doing. That may be the case, okay? But we'll clarify some things and see what comes up. All right, Cancer. Now over here in the love and relationship section, you have a repeat of what's here. Nine of Cups, same thing. Wishes fulfilled, complete happiness. Really being in the moment and basking in this glory, basking in this happiness. But then the Prince of Swords is right behind it. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Prince of Swords is really... The Knight of Swords, that knight that's on the horse that's moving real fast and furious in the traditional tarot deck. Why is the Prince of Swords rushing right into the Nine of Cups? Is this Prince of Swords demanding the truth, bringing the truth quickly, um, wanting to rush this process or whatever it is that... Just making you happy and bringing joy. Why is the nine of the knight prince of swords here? This is an interesting energy to have right next to the the, the nine of cups because it's, it's rushing energies, demanding, very aggressive and fast. Or is this your energy? You wanting something to go faster than what it is? Are you anxious to take something to the next level? Mm -hmm. Are you acting or is someone around you acting hastily over here? They're moving too fast. Could be you. It could be the other person. You could be mirroring each other's energy, but something's going on over here. And over here, when it comes to career and finances, it's like you're bored or, or you're not happy with some sort of offer that's being given to you or the, that you may be interested in, but that offer... The offer that you may be interested in is not the one that, that that is presented to you, so you're not pleased with it. Or it could just be holding out until something better comes. No, I, you know what? I'm just going to keep what I have here. Maybe something better will come. I'm going to pass up this offer and wait for the next offer to come. And then there's a Ten of Swords. And I don't read these cards here like according to the traditional tarot. I usually get a lot of messages, all sorts of messages come in when I use my career finance deck. This Ten of Swords is about complete, like a, generally it's um, a completion of something very painful. It's at the end, very end of excruciating pain. And then something new happens, something new, something starts all over again. There's a new beginning. But I feel like with this Ten of Swords, I feel like you're waiting for this moment to come so that you can so that you can like really soar to the level that that you want to um, soar with within your career or within your business. It's like you want to take flight, you want to soar, you want to go higher and you're holding out 
it's like a tough mental process because you have to kind of really talk yourself into it you have to kind of really think about everything that that um that would be involved in this situation or be affected by it and for for quite a few of you this has been something you've been waiting for for quite some time it's been a painful process long slow drawn out painful but you're still holding out you're still holding out because you want that opportunity to soar you're like no i'm i'm willing to wait because i know something better is going to come and it's going to really allow me to take off and soar the way that i'm supposed to is is really going to give me an opportunity to um display something about myself or something about my company or something about my skills or talents that i didn't i've never had a chance to really display before that's what i'm hearing from somebody somebody's doing something with displays or with um making something look better um packaging something doing something that uh, uh has some sort of business that deals with the appearance of something this is interesting so it's like in the meantime you're just waiting you're waiting patiently you know you don't want to settle for something you don't want you rather wait wait for this moment to to showcase really really soar the way you want to rise like the phoenix from the ashes it's like you're waiting for your magic moment mm -hmm. it's been a while you remember it's, you might have been here a while but i feel like within this month you'll get to this point you'll see some results of whatever it is you're waiting for that's what i'm getting with this okay I'd like to take a look at the Three of Swords. And I'm going to use my best friend's brand new Oracle deck. You know, when I use these, if you guys are interested and you'd like to um, use some yourself, I mean, well, <laughs> get your hands on some of these cards, drop me an email at tarotbysummer at gmail.com. Um, you can find my email address and my other information right below this video. Spirit, what messages do you have for Three of Swords? Three of Swords. If you send me that email, I'll show you how to, you know, get your hands on a deck of these brand new cards as well. You know, um, and you can you can get a discount up until the end of February. I'll show you how to do it. For those of you who do readings for yourself or for other people. You may want to get some of these cards. Oh, pardon me. It's getting late and I'm a little bit sleepy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's like half of the deck. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Spirit, what message? Give me two cards for the Three of Swords. Give me two. What message do you have for Three of Swords? Okay. Job loss. Mm -hmm. For somebody, this is pertaining to job loss. This is job loss for somebody. Heartache. Due to some sort of job loss that may come and it could be like a change in a department as well like a maybe changing jobs or um job loss job transfer something where there's going to be movement in a away from a job that you are currently in or needing or needing to if you own a business needing to let someone go but then there's new beginnings after this heartache and that's a good thing there are new beginnings after this job loss transfer change in departments pardon me change in departments needing to let an employee go it'll be better after this 
this might this may be like um the legal route that you need to take or someone's taking this looks good though that's good it's, it's, it's not it's not bad for those of you if this is pertaining to job loss you may even want to quit a job you may be deciding this thing here this job gives me too much headache you know it really gives me a headache i don't like it anymore i'm tired i'm i'm disgruntled with this i'm ready to move on i'm gonna celebrate you may be celebrating because you plan on you're planning on leaving work remember when i said this is going to be different things for different people someone will be heartbroken you know but decisions need to be made you know for those of you if this is pertaining to work you may be leaving them and probably giving maybe giving someone your resignation notice or something this the resignation letter this month and say you know what i'm done i'm gone I, i've taken another position you know <laughs> this is good though it's good but you're focusing on the goodness you're focusing, you know, you're looking on the brighter side. You're starting out looking at the brighter side of things. And that you're bringing that energy in. Even, you know, although it's painful, it's still new beginnings coming in. So this is good. Awesome. Okay. Spirit, can you tell us why the Prince of Swords is here? Why is the Prince of Swords here? Okay. Two cards for the Prince of Swords. You have... Four of Swords in the upright position and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This Prince of Swords person, the one that's rushing in, wanting to know the truth, wanting to say, state the truth, wanting, you know, demanding something. He or she may be tired. Tired of something that's been going on. Tired of maybe <coughs> not getting attention or or something something he or she is not getting because like here you're looking out for yourself here you know you're looking out for yourself but there's like nine of cups here there's like two people this could just be you looking out for yourself or maybe you looking out for somebody else yourself and somebody else and this person here you know, and this is this is loving energy. It's, it's good, healthy energy. But this person here, and these are my love cards, may want attention, may be demanding. I, I want truth. I want attention. I want something from you, Cancer. I'm tired. I'm. I feel this. This person's tired. They're resting. They're meditating. They may be taking a pause. Listen, I need to say this to you. I need to get this from you. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of things not going the way that I need them to go. Because the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse right here. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse may be someone who's spending too much money. Or this person may be um, very money driven. Like like materialistic, very money driven. Um not feeling grounded, not feeling whole, not feeling provided for and taken care of, too too focused on on money and making sure that everything is everything is you know going well and everything is you know set up just you know just so everything is in sequence. She she may feel neglected, neglected financially, you neglected when it comes to family, you know, whatever this means to this person she she feels tired and neglected or something she wants you to it's like she wants you to pay attention to the needs of the house or something like that or the needs of the property the needs of whatever it is you may own together needs of the family there's like a selfish energy here she's not you know you're off doing your thing and maybe she feels like you know what since you're doing your thing, I'm just going to do my thing and be selfish too. I'm going to, you know what, I'm usually very, you know, frugal and, and making sure everything is well at home. 
in home life or with business or whatever this partnership means. But then this person, because you're doing your thing, this person may feel like, I, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to take a break and just do me as well. I'm going to look out for me. I'm going to spend what I want. I'm going to buy some of the things that I want to do. I want to buy some of the things that I want. I'm not going to do all of the things that you expect me to do because that's what you're used to. This is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm feeling for somebody. Okay. And Cancer, if this person really feels this way, and this is, a, this is an earth sign. Earth sign energy. This person may be an earth sign. We'll have earth and air in their chart. Even if it's not like earth or earth sign or air sign person, okay, even if, you know, they may just be holding the energy of that very sharp in communication, the way they talk, the way they, you know, the way they act, the way they think, very, you know, methodical, very, you know, logical and practical with the pentacles, very money focused, money driven, success driven. This person may be like codependent, very dependent on, you know, a lot of things like money. Very dependent on what happens with money and making sure money's always around and making sure there's everything is always balanced. But this person may be like dramatizing the, the severity of whatever the issue is too. That's what I'm picking up for somebody they're like overdoing it's like really dramatic 